Okay, let's learn how to use bit strips to make comics. So let's click here on this first image and we're going to join bit strips today. You need to have an account. So complete with your username, password, email. So the security check words you complete here. Uh, I have read and agree. Click the box, tick the box, the box and um, sign up now. Okay, hello Ana Maria. Okay, so they have um, recognized me. Now I'm going to click here in create. I'm going to create a comic. Okay, so it's already there. So let's um, explore the tabs. So here you have the characters. You have the different scenes. Props you can use. Furniture effects, shapes, and outfits. Okay, so let's start with something simple. We're going to, I'm going to drag and drop a character here, a scene. Okay, I have selected drag and drop again. The scene is there. Now for a speech bubble, so I have the art library here. Now text bubbles. So I drag and drop the text bubble here. So it's already selected. I can start typing. Good morning. Okay. So if I want to move on to the next uh, part of the comic, the next trip maybe, um, what I do is art library again, the scene, character, so I'm going to add another character, maybe this girl here. Yes. And uh, text bubble. Okay, typing again. Morning, Tim. Okay, so you create your comic strip by clicking on the next boxes, adding the scenes, adding speech bubbles, okay? Now what can you do with the characters? If you click on the character, you can change the character's facial expression. Okay. You can change the way the arms are by clicking here on the controls, okay? And there's more, more, more and more. All right, you can have the character sitting, moving, uh, maybe moving the head to one side or the other, moving the body, okay, so he's moving. So there are lots of things you can do here, you just have to explore the controls, okay? Once you're done, uh, remember to uh, create the title of the strip. Um, at the beach, click save, okay so my comic strip has been published so what I do, I click here share and right below I can email it to someone or I can uh, share the image by copying this code here or I can publish it in a blog by copying the embed code. Oh, uh, you can also publish it so it wasn't published yet. Um, okay, so I select a genre, pop culture, okay maybe tech. Um, can edit, no, just nobody but me. I am the only person who can edit it. And click publish now. Now you have the URL you can send to your teacher, okay? You copy this URL to send it to your teacher.